Greetings, signs and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your viewerships, your confirmations you send me through email, your healing, okay, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and the positive way you show up on this planet. We're going to go ahead and get into this reading. Thank you for the donations. Right now, I am not taking uh, personals, okay? Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to open back up. However, when I do, it will be to those that reach out to me through email. Do not be scammed by anyone. I will not come to you and ask you for anything. You have to uh, contact me through email. All the information you need will be in the description box below. All right. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. Some of you could benefit from Reiki healing. Okay. Possibly taking a salt water bath. All right. This is about stability for some of you. <clears throat> you could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is a karmic lesson, I feel, okay? Yeah, unfortunately, this came out in the last reading. So we have someone that's trying to project negative energy towards you. You could be this high priestess, whether if you are into divination or not. This is someone that gets visions. This is someone that is connected to the divine. Um, it doesn't matter what you believe in. You have a close connection with your spiritual guides, with your ancestors, with the divine. Okay. Someone does not like that. For some of you, this is a female or a male that's in a, a female energy with the empress here in the shadow okay this person wants people to reject you they want people to see you in a negative light okay they don't like the fact that you have courage and willpower to persevere all right so someone wants to cloak themselves as a light being all right but what what they're doing is as they engage with you they are projecting negative energy towards you this is someone that tries to astral project themselves okay this could also be someone that is experiencing nightmares, delusions, and things of that sort. Okay, I'm hearing negative entities. Um, this person conjured up some sort of negative energy to send towards you, and now it's stuck. Okay, so let this be a warning for those of you that want to send demons and stuff and nightmares and astral travel into people's space. You messing with a high priestess, this is someone that's tapped in and tuned on. They're going to recognize it, okay? They're going to recognize it and they're going to project that negative energy back to you without having to go to a sorceress, without having to do dark magic. OK, this is someone that knows how to protect themselves, whether they're male or female. And this is what I'm talking about. OK, that energy was sent back and whatever false foundation was built around this person, whether if you know it or not, is crumbling. OK, because that is the high priestess job. I'm hearing collaboration with Aquarius. Somebody was very rebellious or they're, they're in a rebellion state because they're losing everything. This is someone that refuses to take accountability. They will always project negative energy onto you, okay? Or onto your person. This may be what somebody else is going through, okay? This is somebody that could have contracted a third party, uh, you know, to do some sort of demon incantation here because in this card the devil in the shadow is someone that is definitely demonically possessed okay um or there they are the devil's minions okay and this is a regular man as we can see here with a mask on okay so this could be someone that's pretending to heal you or something like that but this is also someone that's controlling and manipulating a couple for some of you this is separate individuals okay this is why you keep getting the same type of energy there's a lesson to be learned here okay somebody is very much in their ego we got leo in the low vibration we got capricorn in the low vibration all right this is about collaborations with i'm hearing two three or more people okay there's a lot of foundations uh coming down this is why they have to continuously go to different individuals right so something is coming out about somebody that's very much in their ego here okay somebody doesn't like your willpower your strength why is the earth card here yeah so we have this person definitely can't sleep all right 
um, if you're around this person or someone is around this person, your person, your ex person, whoever it may be, they can't sleep either. Okay. This person is having nightmares. They may also do a lot of drugs at night. This person is trying to figure out how to come in and romanticize a situation. All right. With storyteller here, this could be somebody going to people on public platforms, uh, yeah, conspiring, trying to conspire against you, okay, paying people with the shapeshifter energy. This is somebody that you may feel like you could trust or you did in the past, but you can definitely not trust this person. I'm hearing this is about your spiritual family and the spiritual calling that's on your life, whether you're on a platform or you're out there in the regular world, okay? We have to build our experiences through what we go through, okay? We, I mean, we have to build our intuition through our experiences and what we go through. So we got servant in the reverse, using the lack of money as an excuse not to move forward with life. Yes, okay, so this is somebody that may have been used to the finer things in life, okay? So they may be um, doing drugs or under some sort of illusion that they can't proceed um, forth because what they've created has all uh, come down. It's because it was built on a false foundation. This is someone that's not appreciative of the divine or not appreciative, was not appreciative of the gifts that the divine gave this uh, individual. Okay, so it says hoarding money and emotions, obsessive fear of losing your wealth. Okay, so yeah, this is somebody that held back finances from you. Okay, or you did this to this person. This person wants to come in and act like they're saving the situation. This is why this person keeps getting stopped. All right, and I do uh, suggest that you set your intentions to keep all evil people away from you every day. If you have a child with this person, I do not care. Okay. This person is evil. They're going to project negative energy onto you, especially if you are this high priestess. You could be a Cancer. You could be a Pisces. You could be any sign. But this is someone that has a close connection, okay, to the divine. That's just period, point blank. And a lot of people don't like that. So this is an individual that tried to put some sort of illusion on you or they're actively trying to do this. They could come in and act like they... You know, they want to build a family or they want to be a family, but it's all an illusion. It's a trick of the devil. Jedi mind tricks here. The high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? Please. Universal life force source. All right. So, yeah, you at one point you had a partnership with this person. OK, you have some sort of mission here. All right. This person may have came in and act like they were um trying to be the middleman and and you know this is somebody that acts as if they're going to help you but they're not all right they could be working with three or more people against this high priestess some of you these are childhood friends or colleagues things of that sort we have the alchemist here all right so you have some sort of knowledge, okay, about someone's childhood wounding. You have some sort of knowledge about somebody's vampiristic uh, practices here with the seeker. So this individual is off trying to seek um, the adequate, uh, adequate supply. There's never going to be a more adequate a more adequate supply than the high priestess. Okay. It's just on a different type of level. And this is why you have vampires uh, after you. Okay. This is somebody that needs to seek God. They need to seek some sort of counsel here. This is somebody that feels like they can romanticize everything. If this is a woman, they come in and they want to have sex with you. They play on your, your weaknesses here. If this is a man, this is a man that goes from, from pillar to post. Okay. I'm hearing Papa was a rolling stone. This is somebody that may have some sort of uh, uh, money or, the, you know, they could be paying people again to come towards you and act as if, you know, they want to love you or something. You're defending yourself against these individuals. Some of you are earth angels. Some of you are dealing with someone that is a backstabber, a betrayer. All right. We have negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda, either personally or professionally. For some of you, this are um, individuals in your family. This is individuals on in, in the workplace. Okay, if you have a platform, these are people that are pretending to be your friends. Okay, some of some of these people could be donating to you. All right, some of these people are moderators. All right, uh, on your channel. 
Yeah, vision, because you have a vision. You're able to see beyond, beneath, underneath, and through any veil of illusions, okay? Some of you, you may have provided some sort of counseling service if you are a counselor here, okay? Some of you may have went to some sort of therapist or, yeah, to do some sort of counseling with your marriage, all right? With the damsel in distress, if you are a masculine watching this, this is you being... Uh, feeling like you have to get women that are projects, women that, you know, are, are not of your caliber, I'm sorry to say, okay? So what I'm getting is you have to, you know, you have to let go of the old ways of thinking here. For you to have someone that's on your level, you have to stand up and do that childhood wounding, okay? You cannot deal with women that constantly, uh, you know, um, want to have sex all the time. All right. You can't deal. You can't compare um, someone that's on a lower vibration with someone that is on the high priestess level because they're not going to chase you. They're not going to want you for anything. It has to be an equal give and take. All right. So, yeah, you got the hedonist, the damsel and the visionary. So most definitely some of you are masculines here and you keep attracting these same type of women because you don't want to do the work. If you are a divine masculine watching this reading is because you have you have this outlook that women should be a certain way and things of that sort that's why you keep getting wolves in sheep's clothing all right we got to keep that we got to keep that clear okay so servant in the reverse why is servant in the reverse here for my collective <sighs> when these cards come out so, yeah, so this is about you completing old cycles, karmic cycles, past life cycles here. Somebody um, that you walked away or they walked away from you, possibly a child's mother. Okay. Uh, yeah. It, yeah, they, they're holding some, they're, they're, there's some sort of illusion around this person. Okay. Somebody that lied and slandered you, you know, their finances is on the decline for doing that. OK, this is somebody that can't sleep because of how they slandered you. If you are in a person, uh, if you are um, are uh, on a public platform, for some of you, you are public speakers. It doesn't matter. For some of you, you are CEOs. You just started a new business. This individual doesn't like the fact that they talk so they talk down on you so much and now people can see you in your true full glory here. Yeah. So somebody doesn't like the fact that you are getting finances here. This person feels like you put some sort of spell on them because as they see you grow, their um their money is falling, their love life is falling. It's because of the negative energy that they're projecting on someone that doesn't deserve it. Okay. All right. So we're talking about friends and families coming together. All right. To try to make some sort of truth here. Okay. So somebody's going to try to come in and mask themselves as they are helping you. I did a reading about that the other day. These are loved ones. Okay. It's because they need money. These are individuals that never loved you. When you are chosen one, elect one, a star see, you are surrounded by individuals from past lives, okay, that secretly hate you. Okay, it could be a friend, a relative, a child, even a grandparent, it doesn't matter. Because of the past life energy, it's karma that you have to work off so you can ascend. Some of you don't want to come back to this planet. Some of you are tuned in and tapped in enough to know that there's other words, here, other worlds here. Earth, why is Earth here? Yeah. So somebody has a, a financial curse on them. Somebody could be sick. Somebody needs healing here with the page of cups in reverse. You, um, you rejected this person's offer because they were childish here. This person may have, somebody could have been in the hospital and, you know, you... No one may have came and visit you. Okay, so somebody needs some healing regarding rejection. 
This person wants to come in and have sex with you or you want to have sex with this person because you think you're going to gain something financially here. All right. This is a petty party. You're ready. You're more than willing and capable of chopping somebody's head off. OK, you can sense the You can sense the deception. You can sense these people working on your finances here. You have someone that held back emotion from you. All right. They definitely have a queen of wands um, right behind them watching everything that they're doing. This queen of wands could even be trying to send this person to you Aries Leo or Sagittarius whoever this Empress is this is the person that's trying to orchestrate some sort of illusion here why is Neptune yeah secret competition all right some somebody is trying to battle you in the spiritual realm also all right. They're trying to put some sort of illusion here, possibly doing sex magic. You made a judgment to leave this person alone. You completed the cycle. You learned the lesson. This person left you to heal on your own with the hermit card here. All right. For some of you, they slowed down or tried to slow down love offers and your money. Why is the high priestess here? All these, yeah, somebody can't sleep, okay? Somebody can't sleep. This is also someone that has been like trying to mimic your energy. They could have been doing some sort of binding spell or in the past, they put some sort of illusion around you. They were able to tap into your energy here. You have somebody that's very greedy. This could be a false empress, okay? They don't like the fact that people see you as the empress with the will of fortune, Sagittarius, energies. Especially with judgment being here and the knight of wands this is a whole bunch of people trying to compete for your affection compete for your attention here all right yes yeah, so some people want to claim that you are their twin all right however whoever the false twins is these people are being left out in the cold they do have a financial curse on them all right this could be a married couple why is servant here in reverse Yeah, this is somebody sending people, you know, they could possibly be, be, be paying people to slander you, okay? Yeah, with the Nine of Wands, this is also someone playing to have some sort of dark energy sent to you, okay? You had to battle these people, possibly in the spiritual realm and the physical realm. Three of Wands. So somebody was waiting for their ships to come in, okay? Yeah. And yeah, because you left them out in the cold, you completed the cycle. This is somebody that you may have exposed or you said something. If you have a platform about what they were doing here, this person tried to keep you in slavery. I'm hearing shadow slavery, total ownership and domination. This is what this person is used to. For some of you, this is a controlling as boss. Okay. Especially if you are a lawyer or something like that. Midas and miser. In reverse yeah they can't sleep because they're up trying to cast some sort of illusion here yeah yeah they want to stop your options some of you you had a dream about this person you had a dream about what they were doing here this person wants to um, make it to where you don't you don't have options or make it look like you don't have options here OK, for, for others of you, this person is trying to manifest somebody negative in your life or they're doing incantations and rituals that if you do get with somebody, it will be somebody in the reverse. This is somebody that they may have paid to send towards you. Some of you, you could have got into a physical altercation here. All right. Yeah. Trying to clear up something with somebody that's very demonic. Why is the page of pentacles here, please? Look at all these cards come out. Ten of Cups situation. So this is definitely about friends and family. They want to bring some sort of offer, present some sort of offer. They can't sleep at night. This is somebody that possibly is married to someone else or they're in a common law partnership. This is what's taking this person so long. There's no victory here in this situation. You do not want this person here. Yeah, it's because of the Ten of Pentacles. Like you can sense like these vampires only want you for your money. All right. This is fake friends and uh, family. Yeah, they're going to come in and say we're family. We're family. For some of you, you're in the process of leaving these people, places and things behind. Whether if you are a male or a female and so is your divine counterpart. All right. You have to make sure that you stay open. Right. 
somebody's going through a legal battle, justice, something is coming out in court about somebody's deception here. Somebody may have to move abruptly from a home, okay, especially if they did, they got this home in a legal way. Yeah, five of pentacles. Oh, man. Some of you, this is a new job. Yeah, so if you're a lawyer or something like a counselor or a therapist or something, some of you are thinking about stepping off into your own, uh, into your own business practices, becoming entrepreneurs. There's definitely um, light shedded on that situation. You're supposed to be an entrepreneur, someone that is a community leader. Why is Five of Pentacles reversed? Some of you are coming out of poverty. You're tired of fighting friends and family, okay? Now these people want to come in, love bomb you, and trauma bond you. And for some of you, they may even participate in lying and slandering you, okay? Five of Pentacles. Reverse. Yeah. This is an institution. For some of you, you are lawyers or it's about work here. Some of you definitely got a new job, and your new job is a spiritual-based job, possibly counseling, okay? Some of you could be going to school to become a lawyer or, I heard, paralegal. Some of you are paralegals or court stigmatic, you know, people that do the court reporting here. There's a new opportunity coming for you as you balance yourself, okay? You had some sort of false mask on in the past. You could be a Sagittarius or dealing with a Sagittarius. Some of you are traveling, okay? You make your money traveling. I'm here a traveling salesman for some for some of you. Okay? Or you could benefit from leaving this particular situation, getting getting away from this energy. Okay? You're gonna find some sort of success here. Somebody feels like they can find success by leeching off of your energy. Okay. All right, presenting some sort of illusion. This illusion could be that they want to work with you. For some of you, this somebody that wants to be a manager, your manager. Five of Cups reverse. Yeah, they want to come out of lack. Yeah. Some of you, you, you may need to have a deep cry here. All right. Some of you, you stayed attached to a situation and it started to drain you financially, emotionally, spiritually. And this is what you're being enlightened to. All right. You're finding out that it's the people closest to you. For some of you, this is a family business. I don't know why I'm hearing Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Five of Cups. Five of Cups. Oh, yeah. Secrets is out. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's no longer able to spy on you. You were dealing with somebody that was very childish, childish. Okay, something was discovered about somebody's business practices or their love life here. This person wants to come in and possibly argue with you uh, with the Two of Cups here and the Knight of Swords. It's because you're shining brightly here. You illuminated something about this person. Possibly that they, you know, they were juggling or they tried to have you juggling. Juggling emotions, juggling finances here. Some of you, you had to do all of this on your own. You had to become the magician, all right? Some of you, you may even be practicing astral travel or you're practicing some sort of hidden knowledge, occult studies or something like that. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you were enlightened about these these fake friends, okay? You could be someone that is a human, humanitarian, all right? Very rebellious. Your views about life is <laughs> are astronomical. So we got the eleventh house here. So eleventh house is talking about your social life. It's talking about the people that you engage with, and it's also talking about your goals. Some of you are going to find um, get some sort of enlightenment through the dream, a dream here. Okay, I feel like your ancestors is is trying to get you to make a choice here. Yeah, I feel like once you make this choice, you you may be going something was enlightened to you through a dream about your social life, about your goals, about your friends. OK, what is this hangman energy, please? Somebody was greedy here. Yeah, somebody tried to keep you from your divinity. Yeah, this is a heartbreak. So I do feel like somebody is going to find uh, out some. Um, 
some heartbreaking information through a dream. Okay, trust your dreams here. Trust your, your dreams. This could be about a marriage. This could be about an institution, especially like a lawyer, or judge, or something like that. Okay, some of you, you are lawyers and you're you're going, you're meant to be a judge or something like that. Look at this, Justice. All right. Know that justice is coming for you. Keep holding on. Keep 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 praying, meditating, and letting go of people, places, and things that no longer serve you, as well as calling your energy back, your positive energy daily. This should be a daily thing. All right. I'll see you later.